I have never met a grown-up person who can't hold their breath for two minutes. Hello guys, I am Christian Vedder and this is how you actually measure how long you can hold your breath. So let's look at the statement I open with. When I say I have never met someone who can't hold their breath for two minutes, I am not joking. But this is what I actually mean. It is a big difference between how long different people can hold their breath but there is also a big difference between how long you think you can hold your breath and how long you can actually hold your breath. I will now show you how to test how long you can actually hold your breath. I have tried this with a lot of people and I have still not experienced someone that I have tested this with that were not able to do two minutes plus. This video is recorded during the coronavirus crisis, so I will not be doing this in the pool as the pool is in lockdown. But we will do this whilst lying on the bed. If you by any chance have a pool and you want to do this in water, then don't do this alone. Make sure you have someone with you who is watching you and can save you if you were to get a blackout underwater. So to make this as easy as possible to follow, I will be doing this exercise together with you and you can just follow what I am doing. A couple of things you must do before we start. 1. Make sure it is at least 4 to 6 hours since you last ate. The best time to do this test is in the morning before breakfast. 2. Go to the toilet first so you won't be using any energy thinking that you really should have gone to the toilet before you started this exercise. 3. Take a small sip of water so your mouth does not get dry. Now pause this video, lay down on your bed and make sure you are comfortable. And I will Good talk job. you through the exercise. So now you are laying on your bed relaxing. We are going to breathe for about 2 minutes. I want you to breathe in for about 4 seconds and out for about 8 seconds. You can just follow my breathing pattern. Some like to breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. But you can also breathe only with the mouth if that is better for you. When you are breathing out you should use a bit of force, like if you are blowing out a candle. So just keep breathing 30 seconds. Breathe all the way into your stomach and all the way out. One minute. Just keep breathing in and out. Try not to think about anything, just relax and follow my breathing. In 15 seconds we will start holding the breath. So take two deep breaths in and out all the way and now all the way in and hold. Thirty seconds. If you feel you can't hold any longer, you can just let go and just follow when we start breathing again. Ten. 
10 more seconds. Three, two, one, breathe. We're now going to breathe for two minutes again. Same as last time, just follow my breathing. One minute. In 15 seconds we will start holding. So breathe deep in and all the way out. Deep in and hold. We are now going to hold our breath for a bit longer. Towards the end of this round you might experience something called contractions. That is your diaphragm contracting and trying to make you breathe. This does not mean you're out of oxygen. It is just the CO2 building up in your lungs, causing the breathing reflex. If you feel this, just try to relax and not fight it. One minute. Ten more seconds. Three. Two, one, and breathe. Very good. We are now going to breathe for two more minutes. Just follow my breathing. One minute.
When you start holding your breath again, I want you to, with your mind, try to scan through all the muscles in your body, from the toes, your legs, your stomach, your back, chest, arms, neck, even your jaw, to see that you're relaxed and none of your muscles are tense. If you feel any tension, try to let it go. Fifteen seconds. Breathe deep in, all the way out, and all the way in, and hold. We will now try to hold our breath even a bit longer than last time. Remember, if you at any time feel you can't hold anymore, you know that you can just start breathing and you will join in and follow my breathing again when I start breathing. Thirty more seconds. Fifteen seconds. Three, two, one, breathe. We are now at the last round. We will breathe for two minutes and then try to hold for as long as we can. On the last round, I will have a timer on the screen so that when you start breathing, you can just pause this video and you will see how long you managed to hold. And please let me know in the comments how you did. Thirty seconds. Fifteen seconds. Breathe all the way in, all the way out all the way in and hold just listen to the music relax and almost try to fall asleep
one minute. One thirty. Two minutes. Two thirty. Three minutes. The timer will be running so you can see how long you do if you're still holding. I hope you liked this video and that you let me know in the comments how you did. If you want to learn more about breath holds and how to become better at it, there's a lot of videos you can look at for free on my YouTube channel to learn more. This week I will also launch memberships on my channel where you can follow me as I take you through a month of training where you will go from being able to hold your breath for 1 minute and 30 seconds and all the way up to 4 minutes. And some of you will also even be able to hold your breath for 5 minutes after this training. When we're done with that month we will also make new trainings so you can continue to progress in your breath hold training. In the membership section we will also have interviews and trainings that are not available to everyone else on the channel. Have a nice day and remember to subscribe.